What is going on guys, DBG here and in this video I'm going to be talking about 5 legends who I think were extremely underrated in NBA 2K16 and should be upgraded for NBA 2K17. First we have got Paige Stojakovic and no not his Sacramento Kings card, his 08 um, New Orleans Hornets card and the reason I think he should be upgraded is he, started, he was only an 80 overall in NBA 2K17, that season he averaged 18 points per game, shot 44% from 3 and shot 93% from the free throw line, which is insane. Paige Stojakovic had one of his better years as an NBA player. And to be honest, that Hornets team could have possibly competed. They were legitimate contenders in the NBA. Chris Paul could have won MVP that year. Obviously, you can't argue against Kobe, but Chris Paul could have possibly won MVP that year. And that Hornets team with Paul, David West, Stojakovic were an extremely good team. And for that reason, I think he should be rated an 85 overall. He was a third best player, may arguably second best, you could argue he was better than West, on probably a top three, top four team in the NBA at that stage, so that's why I think he should be an 85 overall. Next we've got a bit of a weird one, and it's 1976-77 George McGuinness. In 2K14, this card was a 90 overall. He was my starting power forward and one of my favourite players in the game. In 2K15, he was downgraded. Same card, same year, was downgraded to an 87 overall, and which I was like, alright, fine, it doesn't affect him that much. But in 2K16, he was downgraded to an 83 overall. George McGuinness that season averaged 21.5 points per game, 11.5 rebounds per game, two over two steals per game. And when they had a game, a game winning shot against Portland Trailblazers in that finals, it was not Dr. J who took it, it was George McGuinness. George McGuinness in 1977, obviously it wasn't as good as two years before when he was playing in the ABA with Indiana, stats wise but the fact is he was doing this in the NBA it was argued it was one of his best seasons in the NBA for that reason I think he should go back up to a 90 overall where he was his rating in 2k14 why he was downgraded I have no idea a lot of legends have been downgraded for just no apparent reason but yeah I think he should 100% be a 90 overall back to what he was at the start of NBA 2k14 next we have got 88 89 Isaiah Thomas who was actually, for some reason, an 88 overall. Yep, an 88. And in that year, the bad boys won the championship. Yes, he did not have as good a statistics year as, as good a year statistics wise as he would have had in 85, where he averaged only 14 assists and 20 points per game. But he still averaged 8.5 assists, 18.2 points per game, nearly 2 steals per game and was one of the best defenders in the NBA. I think Isaiah Thomas should be upgraded to a 92 overall Amethyst, and while it may seem a little bit low, some people might have him higher, I think a 92 overall is fair because, to be honest, he was one of the best point guards in the league, but Magic Johnson's card from a year later was only a 92 overall, so I'm kind of comparing him to that. So, I, But I think a 92 overall is fair because even though he didn't have the best season statistics-wise, he did lead his team to a ring and was the best player on that Pistons team. And the fact that he was the same rating as Joe Doomhurst is just nuts. He wasn't even the best player on his own team in 2K. Next up we've got a really weird one. It's 1985-86 Dominique Wilkins. For some reason he was started off as an 89 overall this year. And in 2K14 and 2K15. So you know 2K15 this card was a 93 overall. And 2K14 this card was a 95 overall. So the fact that he was 89 is kind of surprising. And But this is, was his best year in the NBA. He averaged 30.3 points per game. He averaged nearly 8 rebounds per game. And shot like over 80% from the free throw line. And averaged nearly 2 steals per game. This was the Isaiah Thomas' best year. And the confusing thing is, is that there was an 89-90 card made for him. Which was rated 94 last year. That And that wasn't... He didn't have as good a year that year as he had in 85-86. So the fact that that card was higher is a bit surprising, but anyway, I think that he should be upgraded to a 93 overall. It could be higher. He could possibly be up at a 95 like he would have been in 2K14, but I think a 93 overall is fair. And the last one is one of the most obvious ones in my opinion. It is Allen Iverson, whose MVP card was a 93 overall. Only one higher than his Denver Nuggets card. Yep, only one higher than his Denver Nuggets card. It's insane. In 2000 2001, Allen Iverson led the Philadelphia 76ers, whose next best player was probably either Dikembe Mutombo or Aaron McKee to the NBA Finals, and he averaged 31.1 points per game that season. 
two and a half steals and five assists. Allen Iverson was one MVP and was one of the best players in the, in the league. And the fact that he was one of the lowest rated MVP cards and having one of the best individual seasons, I think we've seen in a long time. No one player has led their team to the finals like AI has. So I think without doubt that this card should be a 96 overall. The fact that his 0506 card, where even though he did average more points, he did not lead his team to the finals or win MVP, was a 96 overall. But I think without doubt, his 2000-2001 MVP cast should be a 96 overall. So anyway, that's the video. There's a lot more legends that should be rated higher, especially because 2K just started downgrading legends for no apparent reason from 2K14, 15 to 16. So anyway, if there's any more that you think, obviously there is more, so any of the ones that you think, I'm probably going to make another one of these. So any players you think that should be upgraded, leave them in the comments, and I'll probably make another one of these in maybe a week, week and a half. So anyway, thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.